If you've ever wanted to underline a headline in InDesign, but have it move with the headline, then you'll want to use rules. If you don't use rules and you just take the line tool and create an underline, what will happen is when you go to move your headline, the line will stay where it was. So in this tutorial, I show you all about InDesign rules. Hello, creative! It's your graphics girl of graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl with no I and three R's. And I'm here with a quick tip to help you design your brand. But first, would you like a free cheat sheet? Okay. Head over to graphicsgirl.com to download your free InDesign cheat sheet that will show you all the shortcuts in the program. Just click the link below. So if you want your lines to move with your copy, they can't be separate lines that you create with the line tool. You can see that this line is separate, whereas this line is part of the headline. Lines like this are called rules in InDesign. So you'll want to remove individual lines so that your line moves with your copy. So I'm just going to start from scratch here, select all, command or control A, and delete all of that out. So all I've done here is on a blank page, created a type box with my type tool by selecting it and clicking down and dragging a rectangle. Next, I'm going to fill it with some placeholder text. Okay, so now I have some body copy. Imagine now that it's right here that you want to add a headline. Okay, I'm going to select this headline and pop it out, increasing my point size up here to something like 24 point. So now that my headline is a larger point size than my body copy, you might notice something here. It seems to be a bit snug between the bottom of the headline and the start of my paragraph. So you can increase this space here by selecting the headline. And then you'll come to your paragraph dialog box by coming to Window, Type and Tables, Paragraph. In the Paragraph dialog box, there's an icon there that says Space After. You can also get here by coming to the Paragraph icon at the top of your contextual menu here and the icon for space after is right up here. Either way, you can change this value here to be something like, I don't know, 0.1875 and hitting enter. Do you see there that it increased the space between the headline and the body copy? Now that we have some space, we have room for that underline. Once again, if I took my line tool and just click down, holding this shift and drag out, it would be a straight line if I add some weight to it. But that's not ideal for the reasons that I've already noted. So here's how you create a rule. First, select that headline. Next, you're going to come to your paragraph dialog box and it's in the options menu in the upper right hand corner of that that you'll click down and select paragraph rules. With that selected, your paragraph rules dialog box will appear and you can select do you want the rule or underline to appear above or below your copy. I'm going to choose below here and here is the main thing that you need to do. You must check that rule on checkbox. Next, you can choose the weight or thickness of the line and the type of line. For now, I'll keep it solid. The color of the line, generally it will default to your text color, but you could choose black or any color that you like here. I'll go with black. If you look here, you can see how the line is already previewing. It's going all the way across my entire column because I've set that to be column. If I choose text, why, it will continue on only to the end of the text. Next, the offset amount. You want to add a little bit of space between the line and the copy, as you can see here, 
because it's a little tight if you don't, unless you're going for that kind of look where the copy lays right on top of the line. So now if I check on and off, I can start to see a preview of that. I'm gonna go ahead and click OK to show you this. When you click OK, I'm gonna click off to deselect so you can see what we've created here. Now the line will move with the headline when you add copy above it. So some other settings here that you might wanna take a look at. When you had that headline selected and you came to the options menu in the paragraph dialog box and you choose paragraph rules, in the paragraph rules dialog box, it is possible to have a rule above and below. You might need to set them independent. You can do that while you're still in the same instance of that dialog box. If I say rule on above, and this time I'll go ahead and make it a different color just so you can see the difference between the two. I'll increase that thickness. I'll go ahead and keep it to text and I'll increase my offset once again. So there's a little bit of space above it. Why don't I go crazy and do like 0.25. So if I click my preview on and off, I can start to see that it will be there and I could click OK. When I click off to deselect, you can see that I have the ability to have both a line or rule above and below that headline. Obviously here I'd want to make sure that they're kind of uniform. I think I had two different settings, but I was just showing you that you have the ability to set that. So if I wanted to come back into my paragraph rules dialog box, I could turn off the rule on that is above and just maintain the one that's below. Now, the final settings in here that I haven't reviewed with you yet, in addition to the weight or thickness of the line, the color of the line, you do have the ability to change the type or style of the line. So here, if I wanted to change the style of the line to ones that have some space in between, to a dashed or dotted line. I could do that here. I'm gonna choose a style that has some space or a gap between the lines in the style of that underline. So it's here that you see gap color that you could, if you wanted, fill that gap or space between these lines with a color. And you could even change the opacity of that gap color. So just to show you this here, if I go ahead and click OK and click off to deselect, you can see here that there's actually a color that's filling in the gap between the lines in that style of underline. So I'm just going to double click the hand here to fit my view to window or command or control zero, fit page and window. And you can see that if I added copy above, that line moves with its headline. So that's how you create rules or lines that move with text in InDesign. So if you found this video helpful, give it a like. Nice. Share it with your friends and please subscribe to my channel. And don't forget, for free marketing, branding, and design resources, head over to graphicsgirl.com. That's graphics with PH and S, girl, with no I and three R's. And I'm here to help you design your brand.